One of the things I love about Ubuntu is that it's relatively distraction free, but I've been wondering lately if I can take that even further and to get in to get into as much control of my computer as possible. And I've done this with my phone where I've removed all icons so there, that you don't have those little badges with those numbers, you know, that say you have three notifications or whatever. I removed all icons and I have a Google Pixel phone and now I just search for every application that I want to use. And the cool thing about this is be, is that the device is not in control of you. You're in control of the device. Okay, if I want something, then I will go find it myself. And this is one of this is one of the cool things about having like lots of hotkeys and searching for things. It means that you're in complete control and you decide um, what you want to bring up and what you want to um, spend your time on. Okay, and I, I actually want to take this to the extreme and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I don't even want the time up here. If I want to know the time, I'm going to go search for it. I don't want it lingering at the back of my head. Um, I don't. In fact, I don't want this top bar at all. If I want to change my network settings, I will search for it. But anyway, the best way to show you this is probably through example. So um, I've actually written them all down here. First of all, the first thing I'm going to do is master hotkeys. So how can we use hotkeys so that the applications we use all the time, we can bring them up really, really quickly? For everything else I search, okay? So I press the start button and I search for everything. And then the last rule that I'm going to apply here is remove everything else, okay? You don't need any redundancy and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is hotkeys. And I'm not going to go into depth with this, but I use a program called Auto Keys. And I think there's something similar on Windows and other desktop environments. But anyway, if I go to my phrases, I've basically got this little script here. So for example, switch to terminal. And what this basically does is it's, it has a look to see if the terminal application is currently open. And if it is, it will switch focus to that. Otherwise, it will open my terminal application. Okay, and I've got the same thing for like Google Chrome, for example, so that I can switch between these applications quickly. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, if I go Control Shift Alt C, that opens Chrome. Control Shift Alt E opens the terminal. And now if I, can, if I go Control Shift Alt C again, Chrome's already open, so it's gonna switch to it. And I can very quickly switch between these applications and they're right at my fingertips because I use these applications all of the time. All right, so let's just get out of them. So that's the first thing, and I might post some of those scripts online so that you can have a look at what they look like in my environment. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is remove this background image, okay? It's too distracting, so I'm just gonna type in background. Once again, I search for everything. And, let's, and I've just um, downloaded a black background that I found online, so let's click on that. Boom, straight away I feel a lot more focused and more in control, and like there isn't any distractions going on at the back of my brain when I look at the desktop, okay? Um, what else? Now the next thing, um, if you go to, I think it's called, it's called like gnomeextensions.com or something like that. Let's just type in gnome extensions so I can find this website. Sorry guys, I should have been a little bit more organized. So I use this website to basically take a lot more control over my desktop. And if I open up my terminal here, um, if you go sudo apt install gnome tweaks, that's going to give you just get out of this. That's going to give you the extensions um, icon that you can then use. So the extensions app. And basically stuff that you get from extensions.gnome.org uh, is going to show up here in this tweaks app so that you can sort of play around it really, really easily. All right, so some of the extensions that I've used to simplify my desktop environment, let's just go through these one at a time. Um, so the top panel, I don't want it. I don't need it. Um, I rather search for everything, even the time. If I want to know the time, I'll just go start, whoops, start and look up the word time. And there we go. I've got the time right there. I don't need it sitting at the top of my screen. And so I just completely remove the top panel. And it's the same with a whole bunch of other icons you see in the top panel. I don't need them. I search for them. Um, workspace thumbnails. So if I press start here, I don't use workspaces because I've taken so much advantage of hotkeys. Um, and I, since I've, I like pressing start and having like an overview of all the applications I have open, I've just completely um, disabled workspaces. So let's remove those thumbnails and that simplified things even more. Um, icons for stuff that's open. I already know what's open because when I press the start button, I can see all of the open applications. And so I don't need this, it's also redundant. So we can just click on that and it's gonna remove it as well. 
And now if I press start, the only thing I get is a search bar, which is exactly what I want. Okay, everything comes down to searching. Uh, and that's pretty much it. This environment for me is really, really clean. So for most of what I do on my computer, I'm just gonna go Control Shift Alt and then the application I want. So for example, Terminal, which is E, Control Shift Alt C to open up my browser. What else have I got? Um, for my code editor, I go Control Shift Alt S, which starts for, for Sublime. Um, ironically, I use VS Code now, so it's not Sublime anymore. But that way I can switch between these applications really, really quickly. So just a quick summary, um, take advantage of hotkeys, and I'm gonna post the script that I use for this, um, for auto hotkeys. Just wait till that opens up. Ah, here it is here. So take advantage of hotkeys as much as you can. You'll never regret it because everything that you need will be right at your fingertips. For everything else, you search. So just type it in, um, press the start button and then type it in. I think it's the same with Windows as well. You can just press start, search for your application and open it really quickly. These days, especially with indexing, you don't have to wait ages after you type things in, after you search for them. And then for everything else, just remove all of those distractions so that you end up with this really, really clean environment where there's just nothing there. And I think you'll find it much easier to focus when you work. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you and I'll see you in a later video.